in outside Africa. Hours after hundreds of President Donald Trump's supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol, the Congress has formally certified Democrat Joe Biden's election victory. Late on Wednesday, Houses of Congress resumed their work on certifying Biden's Electoral College win, with debates stretching into the early hours of Thursday. After debates, the Senate and House of Representatives rejected two objections to the tally and certified the final Electoral College vote, with Biden receiving 306 votes and Trump 232 votes. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for President of the United States are as follows. Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Delaware has received 306 votes. Donald J. Trump of the state of Florida has received 232 votes. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for Vice President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for Vice President of the United States are as follows. Kamala D. Harris of the state of California has received 306 votes. Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana has received 232 votes. The announcement of the state of the vote by the President of the Senate shall be deemed a sufficient declaration of the persons elected President and Vice President of the United States, each for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021, and shall be entered together with the list of the votes on the journals of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The undersigned, Roy Blunt and Amy Klobuchar, tellers on the part of the Senate, Zoe Lofgren and Rodney Davis, tellers on the part of the House of Representatives, report the following as a result of the ascertainment and counting of the electoral vote for President and Vice President of the United States for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021. The report we make is that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president according to the ballots that have been given to us. Today, a shameful assault was made on our democracy. It cannot, however, deter us from our responsibility to validate the election of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. For that reason, Congress has returned to the Capitol. We always knew that this responsibility would take us into the night and will stay as long as it takes. Our purpose will be accomplished. We must and we will show to the country and indeed to the world that we will not be diverted from our duty, that we will respect our responsibility to the Constitution and to the American people. Madam Speaker, it is a sad day in America. It is a wrenching day in America. It, a day, it is a day in which our words and our actions have had consequences of a very, very negative nature. We ought to watch our words and think what it may mean to some. Just because you have a personal opinion different than mine, you have a right to say it, but nobody has a right to become a mob. And we all should stand united in condemning the mob together. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.